Let's suppose someone's tapping into the memory well. The memory well is very traumatic. Is that a signifier that that's where they should be writing then? So, the th you know, I'm not a qualified therapist, but the person in me, my gut answer is yes, definitely. But there's a caveat around that, which is that the memory well can have some traumatic stuff in it. And uh, if you're not in a safe space and you're writing from it and you're writing something that's traumatic, it could open wounds. So I think you need to be supported if you're going to be writing from that. You need to feel supported. You need to have therapists. You need to have family members. You need to have a friend. You need to have a husband or a support structure. You need support structures in place, I think, if you're going to write from that space because it can result in people accessing stuff that's really traumatic for them. But I do believe that that's where the true healing happens for you as a writer, which is really important. And then maybe the healing can happen for the world. If you can express that space that you've been to in a way that others can watch it and go, yes, I've also been hurt. I have the same wounds as you, they're just different. That can really heal the world. But it's a, it is a, um, so yeah, that's why my answer is, as you can see, I'm excited. I'm like, yes, we must write the stuff that hurts us. But it can be difficult. And my caveat is, especially if you're going to be using this in an educational environment, you've got to be careful about the safe space that you create. Ironically, people are very eager to share that. If you give them an opportunity, a safe space, they're actually very eager to go there. But it can result. You've got to be careful with what you're doing. But yeah, I would say that's the stuff. It resonates with you. It's scary for you. It's challenging to write. I have something I want to write, my next story. And it's like, I am so scared of writing this thing. But I feel like I'm going to do it. Because it's, it's a story that hasn't really been told. And it's, it's, but that, that hesitation that I have, I think is a good thing. I've got to push through that and, and get into it. Yeah. It's really interesting you talk about that safe space. I remember being in a class that was not a writing class, but somebody shared something that was just devastating. Yeah. And I felt that the teacher didn't protect this person and allowed the other students to just throw advice on oh, what they no. needed. And I, I saw the change in the person wow. and I wanted to say something to them. I couldn't because I felt like it wasn't my place, yeah. but it wasn't, it wasn't a safe space. Mm. And so I think that that is an interesting engaging. Yep. If I tell this story, how are people going to react? Because not everybody's going to be like, wow, that's great that you would share that. Yeah. Some people... Absolutely. It's so difficult. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, I've been doing this kind of work. So, so the book came out of um, somehow feeling that people needed to tap into their memories and share what they have experienced in screenwriting more because a lot of the sto stories that my students were writing were half-remembered stories from other movies they'd seen or weird imagined stuff always to do with pregnancy or prostitution or something. I don't know why the students are always interested in that kind of drugs or gangs <laughs> or something like not to do with their life. And they would always write pastiches of stuff. Um, and when I got them to write something from their life, like the day it all changed, some very powerful, just a three scene thing, you know, it was amazingly powerful. But I found that I had to create a really safe space to do that. Um, so I, I often have the class sit in a circle. I even sometimes make out hold hands and like pass a little pulse around the hands. Um, you know, you can only really share when it's your turn. Um, and I've had tears, people cry, people laugh. It's a very amazing space. And you know, I've had one or two students share where I've said, look, you know, you should go and speak to someone professionally. Do you have anyone in your life you can speak to? And then I will pass them on to a counselor if that's needed. But it, it is very important to create that safe space. And I do say in my book, like, this is powerful stuff. If you're going to teach from it, create a safe space. And um, yeah, and I've actually had some feedback from people who've said, like, I've done some of your exercises, but I had to kind of tone them down a bit. Like the one was um, write your saddest memory. She's changed it to write your saddest memory for the month. You know, something sad that happened to you this month. So you can, you can adjust it. But yeah, you can imagine if you're writing that, it can be really, really moving and, and powerful. Yeah, have to have a safe space.